Hi guys, welcome back to part two of our analog clock. So last video we went over an analog clock. We talked about the different hands of the clock. We have our short hand, which is our hour hand, and our long hand, which is our minute hand. We talked about how we always read our short hand, the hour hand, first, because the little baby always goes first down the slide, and then we read the number that our hour hand is on. So today, we are going to review how to tell time by the hour. Now, what I did was I wrote down on my whiteboard three o'clock. That is how it will look when we write it down. Now I'm going to show you on my clock, three o'clock. So I'm going to turn my big hand. And remember when we're working our clocks and any clock, it goes counterclockwise. It never goes backwards. And I'm going to stop. Oh, I passed it. I'm going to stop. Stop my clock with my hour hand, the short hand, touching the three, and let's not forget his name, Mr. O'Clock. Anytime our big hand is touching that 12, we know we got to say O'Clock. So this shows three O'Clock. Now I'm going to show five o'clock. So I'm going to turn my hour hand and I'm going to stop. I'm sorry, my minute hand. I'm going to turn my minute hand and I'm going to stop at the five. And I'm going to stop my minute hand on 12, which tells us o'clock. And this tells me five o'clock. Another example. Let me write this one down on my whiteboard. So you can continue to see how it looks when we write it down. And if I ever say, find 10 o'clock, that is how it will look. You write the number 10 o, like the letter o, apostrophe, clock, 10 o'clock. Now on my clock, I'm going to find 10 o'clock. So here I go, moving my minute hand counterclockwise until my hour hand is touching the 10. And this shows me, if I read it correctly, 10 o'clock. Now, here's a question that some may wonder. Sometimes our clock can show this, where our hour hand is in between two numbers. Or it might just be really close to the next number, but it's not quite there. This is what I want you to think of. Listen to my secret very carefully. Think of a race car track and a finish line. When the race car track is going through the race track and it stops just before that finish line, did it finish the race? No. If a car does not finish the finish line, he doesn't win the race. He doesn't even finish the race. He can be hanging out right before the finish line the whole day, but he never finishes the race if he doesn't pass that line. That's how I want you to think of with our hour hand. So yes, if the hour hand does not pass the number, just like if the car does not pass the line, it does not count. You have to say the last number that it passed. So right now, if I'm looking at my hour hand, which number do you think it would be? The 10 or the 11? Think about it. If you said 10 in your head, you're right. It's a 10. It did not pass or it's not on the 11. 
Let's try another example with our hour hand. Ooh. One or two? Which number will it be? Think about it. Did it pass the two? It's closer to the two, but did it pass it? No, it did not pass it. So the answer is one. So you would say one. Let's do one more example. Skirt. It's super close to that four. I know, but it did not pass the four. So your answer is three. So remember that our hour hand doesn't only sit on the number to show us our time, like five o'clock. It can also be stuck in between numbers and not exactly touching it, but we always go with the number it passed last. Okay, so our last part of our time by the hour lesson is your turn. I'm going to show a time on my clock, and your job is to write down on a piece of paper just like this and write what time I have on my clock. Remember, the number goes first, then the letter O, apostrophe, clock. We want to practice writing it too, just for extra practice so that we're not only showing the time, but we also know how to write the time if we ever need it. Not the digital way, but the word way. So the first time that I want you to write on your paper is this one. Tell me and write down what time is it. Okay, the next time. This one. And remember, we read our hour hand first, and when that mini hand is touching Mr. O'Clock, we say a certain word. And the last one. This one. Okay, guys, now that we have practiced doing the clock to the hour, go ahead. Write your answers out, send it to your teacher, and then go do your splash learn lesson. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow for your next time video.